Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video when it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Realme GT Master Edition versus the Xiaomi 11T. And the Xiaomi 11T is powered by MediaTek. Tomacity 1200 Ultra processor with 8 GP of RAM, while the Realme GT Master Edition is powered by Snapdragon 778G processor with 8 GP of RAM as well. On the back, we have a triple camera on both phones. We have a 108 megapixel main camera on the Xiaomi 11T, while on the Realme GT. We have a 64 megapixel main camera. Also, we have 8 megapixel ultra wide on both phones. We also have a 2 megapixel macro versus a 5 megapixel. Also, the back is made up of glass on the Xiaomi 11T while on the Realme GT. Especially in the gray color, we have a leather type finish on the back, but the another color is give you a glass back and the frame. Xiaomi 11T is made up of aluminium, but no information about the Realme GT Master Edition. On the bottom, we also have a headphone jack on the Realme GT which is not really available on the Xiaomi 11T and the Xiaomi 11T also has a dual speakers versus a single speaker on the Realme GT. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how much a difference between the Snapdragon 778G processor versus a Dimensity 1200 Ultra processor. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. And guys, now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Let's see which one is going to be the fastest one. Here we go. And the logo is came up first on the Realme as compared to the Xiaomi. Again, we have Android 11, we have Mi UI version 12.5 versus the Realme UI, which is a version 2.0. And the Realme GT more faster when it comes to booting up, while the Xiaomi 11 is taking a lot of time, so huge difference between these two devices and now the Xiaomi 11 it is also done about 4 or 5 second difference there between these two devices and guys now let's talk about the displays between these two devices on the Realme GT we have a 6.4 inch Full HD Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate while on the Xiaomi 11 we have a 6.67 inch Full HD AMOLED display which can produce up to 1 billion colors also we have 120Hz refresh rate and both phones also has a punch hole which is on the center on the Xiaomi as compared to on the left hand side on the Realme GT. Also you can see that and the bottom chain it is also it is very similar on both phones yes and the display it is much better on the 11T one of the best in this price range. Everything's closed up in the background no application is running in the background. Now let's see phone dialer that is exactly the same on both phones again we have different animation. So next on the list is the settings more faster on the Realme GT. Now let's go to the display and you can see we have 120Hz refresh rate on both phones. That's really good thing. We also have an auto option on the Realme GT. Now let's check out some more application, Amazon shopping. And a little more faster on the Xiaomi 11T, but at the end it is very similar on both phones. Let's see the scrolling. It, it is very, very smooth on both phones. 120Hz refresh rate. No issue whatsoever. Now let's open this. Again, exactly the same. No difference there. So now I'll check out some games application. Now let's see Candy Crush Saga. And the Xiaomi 11 a little bit more faster there, but not a huge difference. So here's the speakers of the 11 Max volume. And you can see in the speakers, it is much louder as well as as more as well as more bass here on the 11T. Instagram, faster on the Realme GT. Let's open Pinout. Little more faster on the Xiaomi 11T. Now let's opening up the Snapchat. Very similar. Now let's open the Spotify. Little more faster on the 11T. Now let's see Subway Surfer. And 11T should be more faster. Yes, it is more faster there. You can see and at the end, Realme GT a little more faster there. Now let's open the PUBG Mobile on both phones. No. No gaming mode is enabled on both phones. And the Realme GT a little more faster there. Also we have smooth graphics with 90 FPS on the 11T versus the smooth graphics with extreme frame rate. After that we have ultra frame rate on both phones. Now let's open the Tamper N2 and the Tamper N2 should be more faster on the 11T, more faster there. 
and you can see huge difference this time Lamity is done and now the realme gt it is also right behind there now let's open up the tutor and the tutor faster on the realme gt now let's open zedge and the zedge faster on the 11t as compared to the realme gt now let's see the scrolling again it is very very smooth on both phones we have 120 hertz refresh rate so no issue in that area last time i'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one and it is it's very similar on both phones okay guys now let's see internet browse speed imc default google chrome on both phones now let's opening up the wikipedia.org let it move faster on the realme gt now let's see the scrolling again very very smooth now let's open english again it is very very similar again 120 hertz no issue whatsoever next on the list is the gsmarina.com that is here exactly the same on both phones now let's see the scrolling again it is very very smooth on both phones and guys now let's see ram which made on both phones now let's see that how is the real GTs perform against the xiaomi 11t because if you watch my previous videos you know that the realme gt is performed really bad in the RAM management and this time i didn't include the untodo benchmark let's see if we have application in the background or not yes at this time we have application in the background so that's really good thing so the untodo benchmark is it doing something on the realme gt in the background so now let's see phone dialer no refresh now let's see settings no refresh amazon shopping Amazon Shopping Cart Refresh on the Realme GT Let's see Candy Crush Saga Refresh on the Realme GT Instagram No Refresh Let's see Pin Out Refresh Now let's see Snapchat No Refresh Now let's see Spotify Refresh Let's see Subway Suffer Refresh Let's see PUBG Mobile And the PUBG Mobile also got Refresh on the Realme GT So after even the untodo benchmark is not happening it is again not really good on the realme gt now let's open the temper and to refresh again now let's opening up the tutor no refresh zedge last way back to the internet browser if we left and you can see and gas over i have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the xiaomi 11t is performed more faster as compared to the realme gt in the game app to run time but i would say that not all the time some application are also more faster on the realme gt in terms of the system based application and the realme gt as well as the xiaomi 11t and both phones is performed very similar in terms of the ram device and the xiaomi 11t is performed really really good in the ram management and the realme gt is also performed really good again not as good as the xiaomi 11t now let's talk about the battery sizes on the xiaomi 11t we have 5000 mAh battery size with a 67 watt fast charging while on the realme gt master edition we have 4300 mh battery size with 65 watt super fast charging while the 11t it is a more heavier phone as compared to the realme gt but like the weight of the 11t this phone is feels very premium in in hand as compared to the realme gt and that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the realme gt master edition versus the xiaomi 11t let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for the retech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out